Right then, time we got back to this little thing. So, everything we just did on the V45, we're now going to do again on the V65. So, I'll take the tank off and the side panels and the seat, just get them out of the way. Start stripping down all this air box stuff that goes all the way back, it needs to come off. And we can think about getting these off. Same, same as the other one. Take the coils out, take this tray out, make room for these, get them off. Set the tappets that side, Let's get the radiator off. Cover off, set the tappets that side. The carbs, we're going to strip down a lot more than we did with the V45 because they'd already been cleaned. These, I think, are blocked up. We'll find out. We'll have a look through them jets when uh, when we get these carbs off. So let's make a start on that. Okay, starting to get there now. Coils are out. That tray's out. Got the air filter and the top cover off, and the mesh cover. Oh, this. Is that little piece of aluminium I was talking about sew it off just there get rid of it you don't need it and all it does is stop the carbs from going out that way that hooks on there can't get it out take that off comes out simple and it's a lot easier getting them out that side of the bike right carry on get these carbs out well it's official it's easier to take carbs out of a v65 than it is a v45 there's just like doesn't look like it but there's just a little bit more room in there no need to chop that off for a v65 but for the v45 do it that piece there saw it off file it's move done okay so they're out that's almost ready to go still got to take the radiator off I'm assuming I'm going to take the radiator off. I think I learned that lesson last time, didn't I? Okay, we'll see. I'll keep going for now. Okay, plenum's off. They're quite hard. We're going to soften them up a little bit, I think. Probably just use a bit of heat. Maybe just boil them. Put them in some boiling water. And I'm videoing this closely because this carb's full of all this Californication stuff. I've never seen this before, all these little tubes. It's only for California spec bikes. Um, so if I was going to take that lot off, now would be an appropriate time. But I'll have to find something to plug up all those, or most of those holes, because this lot here has a breather. <laughs> looks like it's got a crack in it not that it matters it's, it's literally just a breather it goes nowhere look out to open air so I'm not desperately worried if that's cracked which it looks like it is just over the top of there look not sure looks like a crack to me anyway I don't think that matters there's no fuel pumping through that one uh, but yeah now's the time to decide but that's what the carbs look like apart and I'm videoing it so closely so that when it comes to putting them back together I know where everything goes okay now my um, I've got an ultrasonic cleaner but it's only literally big enough to take one of those carbs and even then I have to turn it over it's a tiny little tiny little ultrasonic but it does meet so I'm going to start stripping them down and then one at a time I'll take them apart put them in the ultrasonic clean them up put them back together work my way along them and then next time you see these carbs they should look a lot cleaner hopefully we don't need carb kits <laughs> we probably do right then let's get some a video of these while they're apart so we can see which bits of hoses go where so this one that goes there that comes out it's got this 
gone jammed in here. And this one. Uh, this one normally has this small one. And this one has this nonsense attached to it. That end doesn't go anywhere. So I'll just end with the T piece on onto there. Okay, let's take some more nonsense off them. Get in there. Right, that's uh, two of them done. One cooking in the uh, little ultrasonic over there, the other one back together. But I've had enough of listening to that thing tick for tonight, so uh, those two can wait till tomorrow. So that'll do for now. We're a good way through this. We'll get these finished and ready to go back on tomorrow.